Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Financial Management MCQs. We are on our mission to be doing every MCQ in as much detail manner as possible. Chapter that we all have selected today is ratios. Just a reminder to join our Telegram channel. The link of that is there in the description. And our link to enroll for the regular courses of costing and financial management is also there in the description. One more thing, we have a all we have already placed all the MCQs of costing chapter wise in a playlist form on our YouTube channel. I request that in case you have any difficulty regarding any of them, you can go through those videos. Let's start it off. So today's MCQ is which of the following is a liquidity ratio. So liquidity ratios tell you how liquid you are. That means how much money you all have, which is readily available with you. Okay. So we have our four options, please. Equity ratio. Now, equity ratio deals about that is how much of your net assets are owned by the equity shareholders. That is A. B in this case is proprietary ratio. Out of the total assets, how much are owned by the proprietors? Okay. C is net working capital. Actually, it should be the complete full form net working capital ratio. Okay. But I guess that's there in the question also. Then D in this case is uh, about capital gearing ratio. Capital gearing ratio is basically the ratio of fixed bearing funds divided by the owner's funds. So out of all, there's only one thing that comes into the liquidity part and that is nothing but net working capital ratio. Let me emphasize more. Uh, net working capital ratio is usually also called as current ratio to be honest. You should have commented by now the answer. But in case you have not, please continue to watch the video. So, uh, net working capital ratio popularly called as current ratio only. It is nothing but current assets upon current liabilities. So, suppose this ratio is 2. What does this mean? It means that how much of the funds are available for meeting the current liabilities. If suppose this ratio is 2, it means what beta? It means that for every rupee of current liability, you have 2 rupees with you. So, therefore, you are in a sound position. Okay. If ever this ratio is lesser than 1, it's a very miserable ratio to be honest. But even if it is 2 is to 1, you should always try to see the composition of current assets. How much out of current assets can be used to dispose of your current liabilities. Now in that also a slightly more liquid ratio will be a quick ratio, which is nothing but quick assets upon current liabilities. Okay. In any case, the objective of this ratio is to measure the liquidity in the business. This is one ratio which is used a lot and popularly actually called as current ratio only. Okay. So therefore out of the four options, answer should be C over here, net working capital ratio. That's the correct answer. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you all next time. Bye.